I think San Antonio is definitely the most consistently awesome place we play. It's the hottest place to see the best local bands in San Antonio, Texas. It's hosted local rockers like Signal Man and big ones like Courtney Love. An unassuming building by day, but a furious hard rock masala by night. But what is the Paper Tiger? Why is it so important to San Antonio's music scene? Gold Lady Productions wants to take you on an intimate journey at what this famous rock venue means to fans, musicians, and San Antonio itself. So pull up a chair, sit back, and prepare to get your nuts smashed. Lights, music, fury. This is Paper Tiger. Paper Tiger is a small but well-known music venue located along the St. Mary's Strip near downtown San Antonio. The orange and white pattern make it stand out among the grime. Paper Tiger features two stages, a full bar, and heavy rock music seven nights a week. Hard rock, indie rock, punk, metalcore, even classic rock. Fans can hear it all night, any day of the week. Paper Tiger was originally the famous White Rabbit, which opened its doors for the first time in 1996. The White Rabbit served as a venue for fans to enjoy live music of professional rock musicians like San Antonio Originals' Faya. White Rabbit also served as a stepping stone for lesser-known rock music acts. It was the best place for music fans to go for good music, good drinks, and good times. The venue was sold in October 2014 and remodeled in early 2015. It was renamed Paper Tiger and opened back up to the public in March of 2015. As with any famous landmark, Paper Tiger owes its fame and influence to the people who built it and continue to build it. The primary architects of its reputation as a haven for rock fans are the musicians themselves. Every band that has played at the venue, whether it's been Paper Tiger or White Rabbit, knows the process and the excitement of booking a gig here. Uh, my name is Matt. I play in Signal Man. Uh, we're playing at the Paper Tiger tonight, which used to be the White Rabbit. Well, we got asked by uh, Alex from Pinko. He used to be in Sons. I had fun tonight. <laughs> it was fun. Every band has given its all to Paper Tiger's fans, and every musician has gained a great personal story in return. It's part of the experience of performing, it leaves a mark of honor on the performer, and it makes Paper Tiger all the more influential to San Antonio musicians. Okay. Uh, my name is Lorenzo Perez, I play bass guitar for The Uprising, and I'm from San Antonio, and I played at the White Rabbit. I, I remember actually the first time, one of the first times I went there, um, this kid, he got pulled aside and was told that he couldn't have a bandana in his, hanging from his pocket. And when they pulled the bandana out, he actually had a, a combination lock tied to it. Like, he could be used as a weapon. So I was just like, oh my God. So <laughs> that's, that was one of the like early experiences. <laughs> I was just like... That's cool. <laughs> Despite changing musical tastes in the world, San Antonio fans continue to love their hard rock. It's an important part of the city and its people, however involved they are in music. To be, um, to see anything positive happen anywhere, you need to be positive about it. So, you know, if anybody ever comes across any music or any art or anything, um, don't be afraid to show that you appreciate it. Um, because that's the only way that anything grows, and if enough people can do that, then um, it'll it'll make a difference. People start to see that, and you know, just don't be afraid to appreciate what you like. Everyone just wants to make music. That's 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 what the, that's what I hope to. That that's the that's the main belief. The bands themselves are part of this city and the rock music community. Without the Paper Tiger, the bands and the fans have very few options. It caters to the need for a musical underbelly, as well as a place to go simply to rock out. There, it's a community. That's, like, all in all, it's a community. So we're benefiting a lot from that, and, and Paper Tiger is really there to capitalize on it. So I think, in that sense, the Paper Tiger is looking to grow uh, pretty fantastically in the future. Paper Tiger will continue to be the fiery, frenzied rock dynamo of San Antonio's culture for years to come. And bands like Signal Man will be sure that happens.